hello everyone uh, welcome to the one ten engineering tutorials on antennas and wave propagation uh, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the design and simulation of monopole antenna using cst uh, this is experiment number two of uh, our tutorials on antenna and wave propagation uh, in this tutorial we will discuss each and everything about the design and simulation of monopole antenna uh, firstly, we will discuss about uh, the introduction of monopole antenna. Secondly, we will also discuss about the parameters calculations of monopole antenna. Uh, thirdly, we will discuss about the CST design procedure uh, of monopole antenna. Fourthly, we will discuss about uh, the results of monopole antenna. And lastly, we will also discuss about the hardware design of monopole antenna. So, let's begin. A uh, monopole antenna is a class of radio antenna uh, that consists of a straight rod shaped conductor uh, which is often uh, basically uh, known as a monopole uh, which is mounted perpendicularly over some type of conductive surface and that conductive surface is known as ground plane. So uh, uh, due to its uh, single pole it is known as monopole. Uh, such type of antennas with uh, uh, two poles is known as uh, dipole antennas we, which we will discuss in uh, next video inshallah. So uh, such type of antennas uh, can be uh, used for a uh, different range of frequencies. So that is the short introduction of monopole antenna. Now let's discuss about the parameters calculations that how we can uh, calculate the length of monopole before starting the design of monopole. So, as we know that uh, lambda is basically equal to C over F and now uh, if we want to design an antenna for Wi-Fi applications uh, or you can say that at 2.45 gigahertz then F will be equal to 2.45 gigahertz and speed of light is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 meters per second. So, putting uh, these values in uh, this formula we can easily calculate the wavelength of that antenna. Uh, so, the value of lambda in this case will be 122.5 millimeters. Uh, for quarter wave monopole antenna, length of uh, monopole will be equal to lambda by 4. So, in this case, uh, the length of monopole will be 30.625 millimeters. So, that, that was the calculation of length of the monopole. So, how uh, we can calculate the radius and the ground parameters of the monopole. Uh, there is no uh, restriction for the radius of the monopole. Any reasonable value can be chosen for the radius of the monopole, but it must be uh, less than 20 by uh, lambda by 20, less than or equal to lambda by 20. So, in that case, uh, you can easily calculate that value from this value. So, uh, the radius of uh, monopole. Uh, operating for 2.45 gigahertz must be uh, less than 1.5 approximately. So, we will consider it as a 1.2 or you can uh, choose uh, this value as a 1 mm as well. Similarly, you can calculate the value of ground uh, by uh, using this formula, but in this formula uh, you can uh, you can simplify that formula because uh, uh, in this case the value of dielectric constant for a uh, perfect electric conductor or PC is unity R1. So, uh, if you will uh, put the value of ER is equal to 1 then uh, uh, this third the value of this third will be equal to 1. So, simply, if I, uh, simply this uh, uh, G will be equal to lambda by 2. So, in that case uh, you can uh, say that G will be equal to 61.25 because we have already calculated the value of lambda uh, here by using this formula. So, these are the values uh, for the design of monopole antenna. Now, let us begin the design on CST. So, first of all uh, start your CST and click on new template. A dialog box will be shown. Now you have to uh, choose uh, the relevant option. Uh, so first of all, you will choose microwave, RF, and optical. And you want to design an antenna, so you will choose antenna. And that antenna is basically a wire antenna. So just like the wire antenna, 
and click on next and now click on time domain because time domain server is the most common server and uh, i think uh, uh, there is no need to change the units of uh, different values now you have to define the minimum and maximum frequency for example we want to uh, design uh, antenna at 2.45 gigahertz so you can uh, set the range from 1 to 3 gigahertz and obviously if you want to observe the results of e field and h field and far field then uh, you have to select uh, all these boxes similarly you have to uh, check the results at 2.45 gigahertz so uh, you have to define this antenna at 2.45 gigahertz just click on the next and uh, just click on the finish so now you have to uh, start your design so first of all we will design a monopole simply go to the modeling and uh, select a circular cylinder and then you have to uh, put these values on uh, in a dialog box and all these values uh, uh, have been already calculated by using formulas so just go to the modeling uh, select circular slender here uh, and then press escape key a dialog box will be shown uh, you can uh, change the name of dialog box as a uh, monopole and now you have to uh, write down the values of outer radius and uh, z min z max and uh, further values but uh, before putting these values uh, as per the coordinate plane uh, i would like to design uh, the monopole along the y direction so uh, just click on the y and now put the values of radius so inner radius will be zero outer radius will be 1.2 or uh, you can write it as a 1 or 1.3 or even you can write 1.4 as well because there is no uh, restriction for the outer radius uh, you can change the value of outer radius as per your uh, requirement so x center and uh, z center will be zero because you want to design that antenna uh, on origin so uh, the value of y min and y max let's say we we start it from zero and uh, uh, the length for such type of antenna must be uh, 30.625 which we have already uh, calculated uh, above and that length is basically 30.625 right so just copy that value and you can uh, paste that value here now uh, the material for uh, monopole uh, should be perfect electric conductor or you can change the material as well so just click on preview and you can uh, proper preview this monopole by uh, zooming it in so just click on ok that is your monopole now uh, you have to uh, design the ground uh, so for designing uh, the ground you have to uh, select the dialog uh, you have to select the uh, brick from uh, this modeling uh, you can uh, define the brick from by selecting the points uh, in this direction or you can uh, change the values in the dialog box as well so let's uh, name it as a ground and now you have to change the values of ground now uh, the values for uh, x min and x uh, max and similarly for uh, z min and z max will be uh, the values of ground and we have uh, calculated the value of g here and that value must be uh, 61.25 right so as we have already uh, designed the monopole at origin so uh, i would like to uh, design uh, this ground on origin as well so half of the value uh, must be uh, represented uh, on the x min axis and half of the value must be represented on the x max value and same is the case with uh, z min and z max so first of all x min value will be 
uh, 61.25 divided by 2 because I would like to represent half of this value on uh, x min axis. Similarly, I would like to uh, represent half of that value on positive x axis. Similarly, uh, we will put uh, the similar value uh, for z min and z max. However, you have to define the y min and y max values here. So, y max value will be 0 because we have started uh, the design of monopole uh, here from 0. Now, the ground must be attached to that end point. So, that is why its maximum point must be 0 and now we have to uh, design the ground below the monopole so that's why we are going toward a uh, y min and uh, uh, that value will be uh, 0.02 in most of the cases uh, that value is kept as a uh, 0.02 however you can change the value as well so uh, the material for ground will uh, be again perfect electric conductor so just click on preview and now uh, you can uh, rotate and uh, check its preview now its preview is not uh, correct so just you have to remove this negative value uh, from here and now you can uh, check its preview and now you can uh, observe that uh, the values for uh, this uh, design are uh, correct right so that is 61.25 divided by 2 and that is 61.25 divided by 2 ok so now these values are correct ok so now just click on ok the second step is that uh, third step is that uh, you have to uh, cut the ground in order to uh, assign the uh, discrete port here to power up an antenna so go to the modeling and just uh, select a circular slender you have to uh, design a circular slender here uh, in order to cut the ground so its radius will be uh, 1.2 0.5 1.2 was the radius of monopole and 0.5 is the gap between the ground and monopole similarly you will design it along the y axis because we have already designed the monopole in y axis similarly x center and z center will be 0 uh, and uh, values for y min and y max will be 0 0.02 and 0 uh, with the similar values of ground just you have to change the material you can select any type of material for example you can select the nickel and you can easily cut it away so just click on preview and just you have to click on ok now a dialog box will be shown you have to select cut away the highlighted shape because you want to cut that uh, shape in order to define the discrete port here right so finally uh, you have to define a discrete port to power up that antenna so just go to the uh, simulation click on discrete port now you have to define uh, the values of this x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 and z2 but it will be difficult to define the values uh, you can uh, just uh, pick the points to refine the values alright so just you can uh, pick the end point here and uh, uh, first of all zoom it in to properly define uh, two points between the ground and monopole now you can uh, define the two points between ground and monopole the first point is uh, represented with p1 and second one is p2 and now you can observe that uh, the values of x1 y1 z1 uh, are automatically 
uh, written here so just click on okay because uh, you want 50 ohms impedance here and you have to define that port for s parameter calculation only so just apply and click on okay right so that was the complete procedure of uh, uh, designing monopole antenna on uh, cst and uh, uh, you have to uh, just check the values of field monitor and uh, you can uh, define the other values of field monitor if you want to define uh, something else but we have already defined the e field h field and for field similarly if you want to the uh, calculate the surface current of the antenna then uh, you can define the surface current at 2.45 gigahertz as well and just click on ok right so now you have to uh, start the simulation of that antenna and that uh, simulation will take a uh, few minutes and uh, after the successful completion of simulation we will discuss about uh, the results of monopole antenna so the simulation process is uh, about uh, to complete okay so the simulation process has been uh, completed successfully now you can uh, check the results first of all uh, go to the 1d results and first of all you have to check the results of s parameters now uh, we have uh, calculated the length of monopole and all the values of monopole uh, for 2.45 gigahertz so uh, this dip is approximately uh, about minus 9 or minus 10 uh, dBs uh, on 2.45 gigahertz however uh, these are normal results uh, on the basis of calculations and you can optimize the results as well so uh, these these are s parameter result and uh, similarly uh, you can uh, check the other results for example you can check the four field results at 2.45 gigahertz and uh, these results will provide uh, the gain of that antenna so you can check the gain of uh, antenna uh, it is basically omnidirectional antenna and its gain is about 1.17 db similarly you can check the radiation pattern for e field uh, and uh, that is the radiation pattern uh, for E field similarly if you have to calculate the radiation pattern for H field then just you can uh, change the angle and you can check the radiation pattern for H field as well uh, similarly you can uh, check the surface current of that antenna so uh, you can uh, check the surface current of that antenna uh, by just clicking on the animate fields all right so that's uh, that's all about the uh, design uh, procedure and uh, its introduction and the uh, result discussions of monopole antenna now let's discuss about the hardware design of monopole antenna nowadays most of the monopole antennas have cylindrical shape ground around its monopole instead of ground plane it is just because for the reduction of size now let's open an antenna to check its parts this part is monopole of an antenna and the hollow cylindrical shape around the monopole is ground of an antenna connector is attached here to power up an antenna the upper part is loader of an antenna which is attached in the hardware for the improvement of radiation resistance efficiency and bandwidth of an antenna so that's all about tutorial number two please like and subscribe our channel Press the bell icon for latest videos as well. Thank you.